Another deadly weekend in Israel's capital as three people, including two small children, were killed in a terrorist car ramming on Friday at a Jerusalem bus stop. The terrorist was neutralized. Several injured victims remain hospitalized. Following the attacks, the family home of the attacker was sealed and National Security Minister Itamal Ben-Gvir ordered the police to launch a major security operation in East Jerusalem. ILTV Steve Leibovitz reports. The innocent Jewish victims of the latest terrorist attack in Jerusalem's remote neighborhood were doing nothing more than waiting for a bus before the start of Shabbat. Eight-year-old Asher Menachem Pele became the third fatality from the terrorist car ramming, dying in hospital on Saturday. He was buried Saturday night alongside his six-year-old brother Yaakov Yisrael Pele, who died at the scene of the attack. The boy's 42-year-old father is in moderate condition, and another brother was lightly hurt. Another fatality was Alter Shlomo Letterman, a 20-year-old yeshiva student who had married only two months before. He and his wife had been on their way to his parents' home for Shabbat. Police arrived on the scene and neutralized the attacker, identified as Hussein Karaka, 31, an Israeli citizen and resident of the eastern Jerusalem neighborhood of Isawiya. Witnesses said the driver intentionally accelerated his blue car into the group of Israelis waiting at the bus stop. A senior Israeli official said Karaka was released from a psychiatric hospital in northern Israel only days ago. We had a very sad situation here where a terrorist drove his car straight into a bus loaded with people. Volunteers of United Arcella, when we responded, we saw children underneath the car. We had Jews and Arab volunteers of United Arcella saving lives in this terrorist attack. Police said officers detained 10 relatives of the terrorist in Isawiya and Atur, including his parents, his brother, his wife, and his landlord. His family home in Atur was sealed. Caracas' Facebook page includes posts hailing attacks against Israeli soldiers and civilians. National Security Minister Itamar Ben-Gvir said he had ordered police to set up roadblocks around Isawiya, where the terrorists came from, as a deterrent. Ben-Gvir also called on police to prepare plans for Operation Defensive Shield 2 in East Jerusalem. Defensive Shield was a major Israeli military operation in Judea and Samaria during the Second Intifada in the early 2000s. However, a senior government official was quoted in Hebrew media outlets saying the prime minister will decide on any operation and only after conferring with the security establishment and after an orderly discussion in the cabinet.